do it today. So today guys, don't be afraid to be different, have some fun, and be yourself guys. But we are actually just about to go to the bowling uh, place right now. So we just have to lock up right now and then we should be on our way to bowling. So I will get some transition shots when we are going there, but let's hit those transition shots. All right guys, so we are back from the bowling alley right now, but I didn't get any, I didn't record any videos from the bowling alley. I didn't get any transition shots. I am truly, really, really sorry about that, guys. But let me just catch up with you guys about the bowling alley and what happened there. So, um, I, the first game uh, I played was, I got, I think, two or three strikes. I think it was, yeah, it was two strikes, not three. And... Uh, I, I got 179 points, and the person closest to me got only 120. So I won the first game, and then the second game I did awful because there's this line that if you step over, you lose 15 points. So I was at, I was at like 70, and then I stepped over, and my points went down to 49. And then so I ended up with that round with only 90 points, which was terrible. The top person had over 130, so I lost that game. So I won the first game, lost the second game. And then the third game didn't really count because only three people got to go out of six people. So yeah, so I won the first game, lost the second game, and the third game did not count. But yeah, so that's what the bowling was. But also, like, if you guys haven't watched yesterday's video, I, uh, when, when I'm talking to you guys right now, I haven't uploaded it. But when this is going out, it has been uploaded. Um, and it is a 20-minute vlog. So it's basically, this is kind of like a TV show now because some TV shows are not even, like, 20 minutes long because... Uh, some of them are like 15 minutes and they have like 15 minutes of commercials and other stuff So it's be I don't know. I think it is a really really good video and I hit a golf ball 225 plus feet So it was really really fun um, Going to the golfy thing, but yeah, so we went to the bowling range today but or the bowling alley I just combined golfing range or driving range with bowling alley but yeah so we went to the bowling alley today which was a lot of fun i'm sorry guys i didn't record um i just honestly forgot to record uh anything i'm sorry about that but yesterday night uh i played hockey with my brother and i was the goalie um and yeah, so that's all I'm going to say, but I'm going to throw in those clips right now. Oh my gosh, you went in! Do a move, John. What? Do a move. Oh, my classic move? Yeah. <laughs> oh, see. Oh, there you Well done, Jake. to my sisters.
Good as new? Good as new. <laughs> so yeah, so I was playing goalie yesterday and I didn't do a decent, well, I did do a decent job, but I'm not the greatest at goalie. Um, if you guys saw there, John sniped it on me top corner. So, it was, John had a really good shot. And then at the end, you see me, like, um, taping the net together. Um, and we've had that net for a good uh, five to seven years, I'm going to say. And so that nest net is coming apart, but like I'm 16 right now. There's not really a point of getting another net, so I just have to tape it together. And I I find it I don't know. It's it's really funny that I just have to tape the net together, but it is a lovely day outside. Um, yeah. So it's such a nice day outside, but I just find it kind of funny that. Like, I had to tape the net together. So, I don't know. I just find it. <laughs> I don't know. It's just funny. Because I remember when we originally got that net. And it was perfectly brand new. But as you guys could see, it is, like, falling apart. And uh, stuff is coming off of it. And, like, the part, that's why I had to tape it together. And before we got that net, we had another net. And, but we only have we have two nets right now one smaller one bigger and that's the bigger net that you guys saw but we actually at one point we had like four hockey nets when we were like uh, younger I'd say like maybe five years ago we had uh, four nets one of them was plastic and then uh, one of them was like really rusty and we got rid of those two nets and we still have um, two more nets, but okay, I guess someone's honking. I do know what for, um, but they're disrupting my vlog. So if you could, that'd be nice if you could stop. But yeah, so I don't know what else we'll be doing for today's video, but I will catch you guys then. All right, guys. So my battery was like about to die but it is all good right now so the battery is like not dying um so yeah like i don't know it's so i just had to charge the other one but i don't like there has been there hasn't been anything else going on in like the hockey news um, but there was something big in basketball news so if you guys so there's only one Canadian team in the NBA which is the Toronto Raptors so they made a big trade um, which so they traded away DeMar DeRozan and someone else for Kawhi Leonard and it was honestly, I, it was a terrible trade for the Raptors. The reason why is because um, they traded away, first of all, they traded away DeMar DeRozan. So the Spurs get DeMar DeRozan. And second of all, Kawhi Leonard said that he does not want to play in Toronto. So a bunch of, a bunch of people are already saying that Kawhi Leonard just get out of Toronto, leave. And so honestly, like the uh, he might return to the Spurs next year because his contract is up at the end of the season So I think it was a terrible trade and then my brother saw this thing on Instagram and it said uh, the the Raptors have traded away uh, Kyle Lowry for a $15 Tim's gift card um, Which was <laughs> I thought it was really really funny because it's basically what they did with the DeMar DeRozan trade. Um, so, yeah, it, it was honestly, uh, the DeMar DeRozan trade was a terrible trade on the Raptors part. I do not like that trade. I think DeMar DeRozan was a really, really good player. And if you guys don't know already, they, they fired their head coach, um, Dwayne Casey. 
So that was also a terrible decision uh, by the Raptors. But, yeah, so, um, like, there isn't, I don't know. Oh, yeah, so, um, Artemi Panarin, uh, it says, he is talking, um, well, Panarin sets deadline in contract, talks with Blue Jackets. So, he, like, I, well, it says Artemi Panarin will not negotiate a contract extension with Columbus Blue Jackets once training camp starts. That's a loss for the Columbus Blue Jackets, um, honestly. So, and oh, in other news, uh, Yetmer Yager not looking at NHL return this season, so he does not want to return. Um, there is not really much other news, honestly. Um, yeah, it's kind of just boring. There's not really other stuff. Um, besides, like, all these teams trying to get back into the playoffs that they haven't been. And uh, besides, the Penguins, I know the Penguins have re-signed re um, a bunch of people. So they re-signed Jamie Alexiak to a three-year contract. That was, that, I like that contract. That's a good idea. Um, and which is, what this thing is really crazy. So... Uh, Mario Lemieux's son is now old enough, he's 22, and he's now old enough, he's in the Pittsburgh Penguins, like, organization, um, so he's in the system. I remember watching him when he was around 14 years old playing hockey with the Junior Penguins. It is now crazy that he is now 22 years old and he is in the Pittsburgh Penguins system. I find that really, really crazy because it just shows you that time flies by really, really quick. Um, but yeah, that is really, really crazy that he is now 22 years old. But yeah, so there isn't really anything much else going on in the like world of sports. I don't think besides like Kevin Pillar. Um, Kevin Pillar got injured. But there was also, so former uh, Blue Jays player, Jose Batista, I think it was a week ago or two weeks ago, he hit a walk-off grand slam. So it was such a nice home run. It was the first pitch, and it was in the ninth inning. But it was really, really nice in my opinion. But, yeah, so there isn't really anything else going on. Oh, wait, there is. Oh, okay, so there's something. Uh, Carmelo Anthony uh, has been traded to the Atlanta Hawks. Um, so I guess that is big. To be honest, I don't really follow basketball. That just came up in my um, search. But I, I think I saw something with the Red Wings yesterday. Um, uh, where is it? Oh, it's about Chris Chelios. So it says, Chris Chelios, a legendary member of the Detroit Red Wings, since 1999 as a player, advisor, and ambassador for the team, announced today that he will be leaving for the organization to return to his hometown of Chicago to be closer to his family. So, I guess he is not part of the Detroit Red Wings organization anymore. But y'all guys, so, I don't know what else I'll be doing for today's video. But, I will catch you guys then. Alright guys, so it is coming to that part of the video right now that I do have to end it off. I'm sorry guys, but I do believe this is a longer video, but it isn't as long as yesterday's video. Because yesterday's video was 20 minutes long. So that is crazy, but tomorrow's video should be um, a really good skit, so stay tuned on the lookout for that. But yeah guys, so that's going to have to end off today's video, so I'd best like to thank you guys so much for watching, I do hope you guys enjoyed, 
And if you'd like to watch another video, guys, be subscribed to my YouTube channel, turn on my post notifications, and smash that like button. Smash. See you guys, boys. Peace out. I will see you guys in tomorrow's video.